Your school, your news. This is LMTV, Linmar Television. Winner of eight Metro and State Awards for Broadcast Excellence. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's October 23rd, 2007. And here's a look at the stories making news across your Linmar playground. Our top story. Linmar's finest musicians traveled to Olwine over the weekend to take part in a very important and challenging event. For today's edition of the Freshman Files, Nick and Emily are joined by a special guest, guys. Joining us in the studio is Linmar Vocal Music Director, Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson, how did Linmar do at the auditions for the All-State Music Festival? Well, Saturday was a very exciting, challenging, and exciting day for musicians all across Iowa. But for Linmar, it was an especially exciting day in that we were we qualified 43 musicians for the Iowa All-State Music Festival this year. That is an incredible number for anyone's school to do. But um, it was just an exciting day of performance for all 84 of the people who auditioned from Linmar. Um, there will be uh, 18 string players in the orchestra from Linmar. There will be 16 singers in the choir. And there will be nine wind players in the band this year from Linmar. Uh, the festival actually happens in November. Uh, the concert is on Saturday night, um, November 17th at 7.30, and it's held um, at Iowa State University and Hilton Coliseum. Students participate in rehearsals the two days before that to prepare the concert, and it's really an exciting event. So we were very, very excited for all the kids involved. All of the performers, not just those that were accepted, did an outstanding job on Saturday. Mr. Anderson, congratulations and thanks for joining us. Thanks, Emily. Thanks, Nick. Again, the Allstate Music Festival is November 17th in Ames. Or you can watch um, the concert on Iowa Public Television, Channel 12, Thanksgiving night at 6.30 p.m. AJ, back to you. All right, thanks, guys. In other news, Mrs. Lampy's home room is collecting cans for the Boy Scouts Scouting for Food Project. Do your part by bringing in a couple of canned goods. Drop them in the decorated box outside of Mrs. Lampy's class, room 160, this week. And now our KCRG's own Scott Sable takes a look at the morning sports. Scott? Well, Katie McNeil is supposed to be here. She didn't show up today. She's suspended from school. All right? All right. She's out of here. I was out sleeping in the car. They knocked on the window, had me come in here. My hair's not done. I have no makeup on, but we're going to wing it. On the scoreboard, in volleyball last night in Class 4A, the regional finals, Linmar beat Jefferson 3-1. to You don't even have this on the teleprompter. Friday night, it's a double overtime, but Iowa City West beat Linmar in varsity football 24-21. The sophomore team beat West 2014. Give them a hand, guys. Come on. All right. On Saturday, girls swimming at the MVC sophomore meet. Linmar came in fourth out of 13 teams. Nice job, Chad. He's the coach, right? Okay, right on that one. That was an ad lib. And the wide world of Linmar Sports, congratulations to Sam Reed for qualifying for the state cross-country meet. Sam will compete this Saturday morning in Fort Dodge. Good luck. Run fast, Sam. See Sam run. Girls soccer information meeting is uh, Friday from 8 to 8.30 a.m. in the Upper Commons. Learn about indoor soccer, velocity training, and much more. We'll see you there. I probably won't, but that's all right. It says that. All guys interested in joining the men's swim team, please stop by the athletic office and sign up as soon as possible. Anyone going out for bowling will meet tomorrow after school in the Upper Commons. And if you're going out for a winter sports, make sure that you have an updated physical and code of conduct form on file. See Mr. Hansen in the athletic office for more information. That's sports. Thanks for letting me do this, AJ. Back to you, buddy. All right. No problem. Oh, thank you. Um, in other news from the counselors, a representative from Simpson College will be in the counseling office tomorrow at 2.30 during 8th period. Stop by for any questions you might have. Sophomores, time is running out to apply for the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Program. It's designed to seek out, recognize, and develop leadership potential in high school sophomores. For more applications are due Monday. For more information on these stories, stop by the counselor office today or check out their website. Now Kelsey takes a look at arts and clubs. Kelsey, what do you got today? Thanks, AJ. 
on the Limar club scene. All techies working the fall play must report to the Little Theater today at 3.30 for a short meeting. If you can't make the meeting, talk to Mr. Bugenhagen. Students for Obama will meet after school today at 3.15 in room 224. Do you like Halloween? Do you like games? Do you like kids? If you answer yes to any of these, FCF Club wants you. Volunteer at their Halloween party for area children this Friday from 6 to 7 p.m. Sign up with Mrs. Vasky in room PL33, the child development room. This event also qualifies for courts hours. The Fellowship for Christian Athletes will meet Thursday in the Auxiliary Gym at 7.45 a.m. Please come to sign up and have a great time. That's your club's update. Back to you, EJ. All right, thanks, Kelsey. And now we'll pass it back over to Scott for our first look at lunch. All right, on the menu, which camera am I on? This one right here. On the menu, we have chicken strips with mashed potatoes and gravy. Yes. Mm, sounds good. And an apple. Or you can try the burger bar or pizza. The food court will be serving french fries and those chicken strips. I'd love to come to lunch, but my daughter Emily is embarrassed by her dad, and <laughs> she says I can't come. All right, that sounds amazing. And now another uh, KCRG person, Justin Cook, with our weather today. Justin, what do you got today? Thanks, AJ. My, after a nice warm summer day on Saturday, get ready for fall. A bit cooler, but no rain. My LMTV forecast calls for sunny skies today with a high of 60. Tonight, mostly clear with a low of around 37. And tomorrow, sunny with a high of 61. That's the latest from the Weather Center, AJ. Back to you. All right, thanks, Justin. And that's going to wrap up today's edition of LMTV News. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. And remember, Linmar, um, LMTV is always online. And join us again tomorrow, Linmar. Make it an awesome day.